Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical usage of VR. So, in today's season one, episode five, whew, five, thank you so much for your support, guys. I'm going to talk about how to transfer files into the Oculus Go because maybe you want to watch some media, some movies, or you want to check out any content that your content providers provided you whilst you're on the go in a taxi, in a plane, or on the subway, or maybe in a restaurant whilst you're eating. Um, no, I don't think you can go and eat, although that's an idea for a video. Who knows? Maybe that's, uh, that's possible. And we're also going to talk about how to sync files from the Go into the PC because maybe you want to record some content there for uh, editing or to use for to rewatch later on from another device. So before we do that, let's roll the intro. Let's go. Welcome back. Remember to like and subscribe. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to transfer your files from the PC to the Oculus Go and sync the files from the Oculus Go to the PC. So let's go into my PC. Let's go. So first of all, uh, remember to sync, sorry, remember to not be in developer mode. Otherwise, when you go here, after you pair your, your headset into the PC, you'll see this, but you won't be able to see any files inside. You'll be completely empty if you are in developer mode. Okay, so I've already paired my headset. I'm not in developer mode. I go inside, bang, there's all these different folders. So all these folders are basically all your different apps. So we're gonna focus today on the Oculus Gallery, uh, which is the easiest way to view your media. But if you have any other apps, for example, virtual speech that we did in the previous uh, video, then you can put all your files here. So for us, we're going to focus on the Oculus folder. And then for any video, normally it goes into video shots. Any pictures, they will go into screenshot. So we go to video shot. And then I will go and find the uh, video that I want to watch inside the Oculus, which is here, episode one, Premiere Files, Final Render, bang, here we go. And then I just drag and drop it like I just did just now. And that's it. It's in the Oculus. Now you just go inside the Oculus, the gallery section. I will show you how to do this in just a minute and you can just view it directly there. Okay. Okay. So now uh, we're going to talk about uh, syncing files from the Oculus inside the PC, which is basically the other way around. So um, same thing, you go to uh, your, your Oculus. Now, Basically, this is for any files that you've recorded inside the Oculus or any screenshots that you've taken whilst you're in a specific app and they allowed you to do any recording. So whenever you do any recording inside the Oculus, make sure that after you have finished your recording that you restart your Oculus Go first. Please restart it. So we go into VR headset. I go into Oculus, video shots, and you see there's a file here. This file is basically the tutorial uh, that I'm showing you today. So I recorded it and it saved the file here. Now you can't drag and drop. It will not open the file. If you do that uh, and it shows up here, even though it says it's an MP4, it will not play. It will just be black. That's it. Nothing. Nothing will happen. So it's very important. What you do is this. You open your Windows Media Player. Okay, and you will see normally after you put your, your VR headset, you'll see VR headset here. Okay, you click on video and it shows up a whole bunch of videos here from let's say a previous session. So normally what you're supposed to do every time you, you do a sync and you want to turn off your headset, there's no eject button. If let's say, for example, if I go to my file, so the file, I click on rename, I copy the name and I go to search at the top and I paste. Okay, the file is there only because what I did was, I go to videos, let me uh, delete it. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, you see the file is not there, right? That is because the headset didn't actually communicate with the PC just now. So if this happens and you can't find your file, you're like, oh no, where's my file? What's happened? Is my headset, is there an issue? Do I have to restart everything? No, don't panic. It's everything's okay. All you do is you go to VR headset, right click, go to options, select settings, and then just click refresh. And there as well, just in case if you want to, no problem. And then go to videos. Now, normally, it will be there, you see? Because now what happened is the Oculus and the PC spoke together and they synced the files together. Uh, now, it was very instant right now, but sometimes the wheel, there will be a wheel turning saying, please wait for about three, four minutes, depending on the size of your file and also the amount of files you have in your Oculus, okay? So if it takes a while, don't worry. The only reason why it was so fast here is because there was only one file inside my Oculus <clears throat> and that file wasn't so big, okay? Now, the next step is very simple. All you do, take the file. If you can't drag it here, don't worry. Right click and just click add to sync. Bang, you're done. Then copy from device. And the device will now sync the file properly to the PC, okay? And then for me, for Windows 10, I go to videos and it's here. My video is now here and I can play it with no problem at all. Okay, so that's it. All right, now let's uh, jump into the gallery into the Oculus Go. I will show you how you can actually play uh, the file that I imported from the PC into the Oculus right away. Let's go. So you just go to gallery down here in your panel. Go to gallery. And then of course it's transferred to the internal storage not Facebook or any other. So we just go to internal storage. And what you will see here is all your media from the different things. And up there you can sort by picture uh, or so it's like this, all media. Or, so we go to albums. So we did, we put in the video shot subfolder from the Oculus folder. So we go inside and this is the file that I actually just transferred. So we just click on it and it will, it will lead you to the actual file itself. Hello everybody, bonjour, comment ça va, and welcome to my channel. So, as you can see, I'm inside a theater, a private theater, and this, this is really cool because if you're viewing any videos from third party vendors or partners who send you, you know, videos that they've been editing or things that you're gonna be using for whatever, or you're preparing for a talk or a meeting or anything like this. This is really, really cool. Of course, you can also use this method to watch your own personal uh, private videos. Um, and then also you have other rooms to choose from. So you can go into a cinema. So they place you in the middle of the cinema and you can see it's a really, really uh, big screen. Huh? You can also go to the moon. Oh, how cool is this? Yes, I'm viewing the earth is over there behind. Uh, this is pretty neat. I like this a lot. Wow, look at these seats. Very, uh, you know, astrology. And you can also just watch in a black space. So there's nothing disturbing you whatsoever. Okay, the other thing that you can change, we just go back to home. You can also change the format. So I'm watching a 2D MP4, but if you're watching a 360 video, uh, then you just click on the 360. Okay, it will look very flattened on the, the video you're watching. But for me, the experience is I'm actually inside a sphere. Okay, so I put back to put, put back to, to 2D. Uh, and also you can watch 3D videos. If you filmed any 3D content, then it will be on here or 160 or 180, 180 sorry, or 180 3D content. Also, you can play them here. So there are other players you can use, but this is really the easiest way to watch things. Uh, you can't resize the screens on this uh, from the gallery. There are other apps you can use that I will show you in other videos. 
where you can actually resize the screen, reposition the screen, and they have other also um, other environments where you can watch it. This is purely privacy, private watching. So you cannot invite friends or colleagues to watch here. This is for you only to watch. There are other apps available where you can actually invite other people to watch with you. And I'll do a separate video on this, uh, on this as well. Okay, so today I showed you how to transfer your files from the PC to the Oculus Go and sync the files from the Oculus Go to the PC. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comment below, let me know if this video has helped you or if you use any apps that I could review. Let me know any ideas, anything you want me to go and shoot and do videos for so that together we can grow the community. Yeah, that's what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy and cue music.